destinations in Florida, and this is What's New at Universal Orlando for the week of June 6, 2016. The end of the day at the park sometimes calls for a celebratory cocktail. Maybe you're able to conquer your fears and ride a Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, or you just toast a lasting memory you just created. And sometimes you just need to lower your revolutions after an excitement-packed day. Whatever may be the case, you're in luck. Universal Orlando Resort has several fun happy hours to choose from, all with top-notch service and beautiful settings. Here are our top five favorites. Emeralds at Universal City Walk open daily from 4.30 to 6.30. It's Mardi Gras every day at this New Orleans-inspired eatery. You'll find half price well cocktails and bottled beer, and special prices for glasses of wine, both red and white, specialty cocktails which change seasonally, and delicious selection of small plates. The Kitchen at the Hard Rock Hotel, which has happy hour Monday through Saturday, 1 to 5, and all day Sunday, includes a selection of draft beers, house wine, and some specialty martinis and yummy Bloody Marys. The Orchid Court Lounge and Sushi Bar at Lowe's Royal Pacific is located in the lobby and overlooks a pool area. The Orchid Court Lounge is furnished with handcrafted furniture and adorned with beautiful orchids. Its sunset sake and sushi happy hour is a must-have after a day of rides. Jake's American Bar at Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort has happy hour from 3 to 5 daily. This bar is a temple to craft beer. During happy hour, enjoy $3 off all craft bottled and canned beers and $2 off all draft, including Jake's American Red Lager. You can also enjoy happy hour at Swizzle at Cabana Bay Beach Resort. This retro-themed bar located in the hotel lobby offers a unique take on classic cocktails from a bygone era. Happy hour includes specials on house wines and well cocktails, as well as specialty liquors. The bloodthirsty hordes of AMC's The Walking Dead return to Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Night in a whole new way. For this year's maze, they'll be taking fans from favorite moments and iconic walkers from all six seasons and packing them into one terrifying maze. For the last four years, the Walking Dead mazes have had guests screaming with terror as they found themselves in the most iconic, horrifying scenes from the show. This year, struggle to escape from the iconic barn, get reinquited with the macabre walker collection housed in the fish tanks, race through Terminus, and end up in the sewers of Alexandria. Universal has pulled all the creepiest moments from the past mazes like the horde of walkers in the forest during the lightning storm, which has always had guests running and screaming. Lastly, Universal will tackle this past season where they up the ante for all the survivors. You'll enter Alexandria from the nasty sewers and find yourself in the middle of a chaotic battle against the ferocious wolves. And don't be surprised if the sounds of whistling saviors follow you into the night.